What's up, everybody? Welcome back to creatingtracks.com. Today, we're going to learn about Subbase. So I already have a MIDI track with an instance of Massive loaded on it. And in this Massive, we're going to go ahead and click on this file and new sound. And right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and change our waveform and change it to uh, sine square. And then bring down the wavetable position, not all the way down, but just a little over zero or the minimum. And then bring down the pitch to minus 24 or minus two octaves. And here's what that sounds like. So that sounds pretty sub bassy. And if you bring down the wavetable all the way down, you lose that distortion and it's a much cleaner sound. And if that's what you're looking for, then that's perfect. But for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it a little distorted. And the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my effects one and grab a Teletube. And the dry, wet, and the drive, we're going to bring both of those down to about 9 o'clock. Or like, you know, yeah, 9 o'clock. Think of it as a clock. So 9 o'clock and... So it's just a little more distortion, a little more low end. And then turn on the EQ and bring down the high shelf. We're not going to bring it down all the way, but because we don't want to kill the highs, but let, let's bring it down just a little bit. And then increase the low shelf just a little bit. Not too much. So that's pretty fat and I'm going to leave it as it is. And let's go into our envelope four, fourth envelope and bring down the attack. And then we're going to bring down the, my levels level to about here. And here's when you can start messing with the decay. And that's going to make it little more like a kick drum kind of sub bass I guess or more sustain and I really like this as it is so we're gonna leave it and in our first envelope I'm gonna do the same thing with my level and my attack and I'm gonna take this uh, one to my pitch of the first oscillator and raise it by 12 and actually, let's bring the level down all the way and check it out. And change the decay. Cool. That gives it a good amount of punch. And if you raise this by 24, it's going to be, it's more of a punch. It's more like a kick drum, but we're not going to do that because we already have a kick drum in our, in our whole mix. So I'm going to keep this to 12. Perfect. And now I think we're done with Massive. Oh, actually, wait, let's turn up the velocity of our envelope one all the way. And then the voicing, we're going to go to mono, mono rotate. Cool. And then the next thing I want to do is go into the saturator presets and grab the, grab the a bit warmer. I really like the warm up lows, but I'm going to use a bit warmer for this. And let's bring the wetness down to 35% or something. And then we're going to change the drive and see what it does. Okay. Something like that. That's good. I like it this way. And then before going further, let's grab an EQ and put it before our saturator. Cut the highs and bring down the mids a little bit, just some basic EQ so it makes it cleaner. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is go to my glue compressor presets and grab the bass punch. You can grab any of the other basses, but uh, I like the bass punch, so let's use that. And then bring down the dry wet to 50. And we're gonna mess with the threshold. We're gonna change the threshold till the gain reduction comes to about five, minus five. So I really like this and I think it makes it sound much more tighter. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a MIDI clip and I'm going to insert some MIDI notes in it. And we're going to discuss music theory later on in this course. But uh, for now, I'm just going to speed up the video and insert some MIDI clips. And please make sure that your speakers are turned down at this point because it's about to get a little louder than what it currently is because I'm going to play the whole beat together. 
And obviously this is how fast I really draw. It's not sped up. So let's go. And there you have it, guys. That's your sub bass right there. And you can feel free to change your decay time, turn down the volume, do whatever you want. And in the next part, we're going to talk about sidechain compression and how to make your kick sound more prominent in the mix. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week.